I'm Julia Zabo, also known as Pet Reporter, and I am the Living with Dogs columnist for Dogster.com. I've actually written six books, and I'm hard at work on my next one. It will be about dogs. That's as much as I can say right now. <laughs> I love dogs, and I think nobody's life is complete without one. So I'm here to tell you about a variety of different dog breeds that might suit your lifestyle. I hope you'll adopt one soon. The French Bulldog is an adorable little companion. So adorable, in fact, that there are French Bulldog meetup groups literally in every city in America, pretty much. Um, and these people take their dogs and their dogs' social lives so very seriously. They love getting together and just celebrating every aspect of having and living with and loving a French Bulldog. They are a classic example of what's called in Latin Multum in parvo. That's a big sort of dog fancier's term, which really means a big dog in a small package. I think that's probably the secret to the popularity of the French Bulldog, is that it is a small dog, but it's a tough little dog. It's built like a mini Mack truck and has a wide chest and a certain tough bully stance. And they're so sweet and cute. The only thing you have to remember with a French Bulldog is that they have what's called a brachycephalic uh, conformation, which means they have a short, pushed-in face. And you know, that's exactly why we find them so cute, because they look like little bats or little froggies. Um, but that conformation actually makes it hard for them to breathe in very high temperatures. So if it gets really hot outside in the summer, you want to be sure to have air conditioning for your Frenchie. You want to um, maybe not take her out at the high point of the day when it's like 1 p.m and you know, 110 in the shade. So um, just a few considerations for your Frenchie and you can have just years of fun with this little clown.